lovely. So today I am doing my Ipsy bag unboxing. It sounds super confusing, but it's just essentially an unboxing, but it's a bag. As you can see. Well, this is a padded envelope, but inside is a bag. So Ipsy is a subscription service that you can do each month and it's only ten dollars and I decided on this one because uh it was ten bucks <laughs> I'm just gonna be honest like I I've never done subscription type things and um I started out with Wantable and I wanted to do a makeup one but I didn't there's so many <laughs> it's ridiculous so um, I just try, thought I'd try Ipsy and see how I like it. I also really like that they come in like makeup bags, so you kind of, even if you don't like the products, at least you have that like little bag. So we can go ahead and get my first impression, the, my first ever Ipsy bag and makeup bag. Okay, so there's some stuff in here, which, you know, I like, oh wait, this has stuff in it. The rest I'll just chuck away. If you like to read everything that's like in these I don't like watching unboxings where people read just read off the card to me I'm like I can just look that up online if I'm really interested in buying it so um, I can do that if you guys want me to I have no problem it's just that like I personally don't want to so I don't want to bore you guys but um, this is this first one in here is a it is Urban Decay which I love love Urban Decay um, 24 7 velvet glide on eye pencil and okay so I'm just gonna put it on my hand it's so funny because I go to Ulta and like afterwards I feel like a crazy person because I have like swatches all over my hands and like sometimes up my arm and I'm like hi yeah I just like to check out um, this is gorgeous it's a um, plum dark purple color which I really like I actually love the trend of using colors as liners but I'm just not that daring and I have blue eyes and purple is very complimentary for blue eyes so I really like this and it is so soft it's unreal it's really crazy I really 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 like this and I don't wear color eyeliner that much so this is gonna be plenty um, and it is just gorgeous and it is okay so I guess it's waterproof sweat proof I'm really rubbing it and nothing's coming off like that's never happened with me even with waterproof eyeliner so that's really cool I'm actually really really excited about this so first thing boom and they have obviously are advertising some of their other products here, which is cool. And I'm actually, they have it in Black Velvet, Lure, Lush, Minx, and Cult. And this is, did I say what color this is? Plushy. I might get like the Black Velvet. These are really nice. This is something I probably will purchase now that I've tried it. Okay, and then the next thing is this cute little bag that says Ipsy on the zipper. It's just a cute polka dot. You can't go wrong with this. Um, I probably love to use this for like lip glosses and chapsticks and stuff like that. Um, and it's just, well you can see it, it's orange. I was just about to tell you like the colors of it, but you're not blind. So, um, the first thing that grabs my attention is a chapstick. I love chapstick, lip gloss. You name it, anything that goes on my lips, love it. Um, and this is called Jersey Shore Sun Mangongo Nutrient Dense Anti Aging Lip Conditioner. I love anything that says anti aging because there's nothing that sells products like telling women that they won't have wrinkles and can defy age. Uh, it is or a uh, green orange ginger. Wait, mandarin, green, orange, ginger. I think that they like just put a bunch of words together and that's the flavor, scent, because green, orange does not make, oh wait, wait, yeah, nope, it says green, orange. Um, it smells nice, it kind of, the only problem with like citrusy scents is it kind of, um, 
feels nice. It kind of can lean to like a pine saw type smell for me. Um, it's not grabbing mandarin. It's not grabbing anything actually that's written on here other than the maybe green. It tastes like, it smells like lime. And I don't know, non-GMO, it's organic, which I do love that. But it's kind of ridiculous if you're getting a bag with, I mean, I guess you cut down where you can, but I mean, the rest of the stuff is obviously not organic, so it's kind of just weird. Okay, the next thing I'm grabbing out of here is by Mana, and it is Sheer Glow Shimmer Lotion. Okay, let's put it on my hand. And... Uh, an iridescent liquid that lights up the skin with all of a radiance mixed with foundation or wear alone oh, okay so this kind of reminds me of the elf elf shimmer something shimmer whip or something and I could I had no idea what it was and I still don't know why I bought it if I didn't know what it was but I still bought it but okay so I have really 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 fair skin and I don't know if you can see kind of just the glow that it gives. So it really doesn't come out pink at all. A little bit on me just because I'm like practically albino. But if you have a little bit of a tan, I don't think it would really show any color other than just a sheen. Which kind of actually would be nice if you do a liquid foundation. If you like that dewy, glowy look all over. Okay, the next thing. Um, is a dry shampoo which I understand is like super popular right now because I have my own and I did a tutorial using a dry shampoo someone with chronic pain I don't get to get take showers that often and when I do my hair is one of the last things because I have super super thick hair but I also can't stand my hair feeling you know that like greasy that greasy yuck feeling and it smells just like dirty um, I can't stand that so but I have one that's like big and it was super cheap it smells nice I've used it like twice I think um, I will uh, I'm gonna spray it on my hand you guys are probably gonna think I'm weird for that but I want to smell how it smells it smells I don't like it it smells kind of like floral but like I like an old lady floral. Not that like old ladies are bad, but like it just like smells like my grandmother's linens. I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay, that's it. I don't know what else to say other than I don't like it. Ooh. Okay, so the next product is J Cat, and the T is like a little kitty, and I love cats. Other than I'm super allergic to my cat, but I still love him. Um, beauty and it says flying solo on it and it is an FSE 110 half naked okay so I'm just gonna do a swatch of this on my hand it is so pretty I'll just show you um, it has like a gleam to it like a pearl finish but it's not shimmery which is I like but it's definitely not matte um, it's coming up a lot lighter on camera because to me it's more of like a peachy nude orangey peachy nude um, let's see if I can I'll put it on top of the pink gunk so it maybe sticks So yeah, it does definitely have a gleam, but I really like it. I actually think it would be a really pretty color for on the inner eye and um, maybe just all over the lid and then maybe take some bronzy colors and just smoke up the eye with those. And um, this is definitely a, um, a color that I'll probably use a lot actually. And it is a full size to me. I don't know if it actually is a full size. Um, all of this stuff is practically full size to me because as long as it doesn't come in like a foil container and I think that's another reason I went with Ipsy is I was hearing a lot of the other ones are foil container type things and 
I order so much stuff from Sephora that I have so many foil containers of stuff. Like I have drawers and drawers and drawers full of stuff. So I am a little bit addicted though. So, um, but anyway, so I hope you guys um, enjoyed that. I would probably say overall, first impressions, I love the bag. I um, am really crazy about the liner and the eyeshadow. I like the shimmer and the chapstick and I dislike the dry shampoo. So only one thing out of five, that, that ain't bad. So. Hope you guys are having a pain-free, stress-free day. I'm sending out X double O's, and as always, I'll talk to you tomorrow.